when we do sit-ups on the ground. It's nice if you have a partner. If you have a partner, they can hold your ankles. If they push down on your toes, it can hurt. Push, it can hold your ankles. If you do not have a partner, you can still do them. Maybe you can find a chair, a couch, a bed, and maybe you have room to put your feet underneath. This is a little tight for me, but I bend my knees, or you can put your feet up against something. There's two ways to do these. First one, I'm just going to put my arms across my chest. I lean back, I put my arms across my chest, I keep my chin up, and then I bring them up slowly. I'm going to go down, back up. I'm going to go down, back up. I want to keep your arms on your body. I don't want you to move your arms up and down, and I don't want you to jerk your head. That's how we can hurt our necks. We move our bodies. We try to keep the rest of our body still just to work our stomach. Again, I'm going to go up and down. We don't want to wiggle our body. We don't want to jerk our body. We try to keep everything smooth. The way fourth and fifth graders do it for fitness gram, they do it a little differently. We keep our hands on the ground. Keep my arms straight. My chin is still up straight. And as we go up, we slide our hands up. We slide our arms. Our hands, arms stay straight. And then we go back. Chin stays up. We go up. And we go down. Again, I'm not moving my body around. Nice and smooth. Up and down up, sit-ups.